Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Uh, good. Okay, very nice. Good, good, and you? Okay, I'm great. Really good. Ready for today's class. Good. How are you, Nelly? Hello, Nelly. How are you today? Okay, Jocelyn, how are you? Como que no voy en teacher. Okay, I think so, right? Okay, how are you, Yoseli? I'm fine, teacher. <laughs> okay, no problem. Never mind. How are you, Carla? Hi, teacher. Fine. Okay, that's amazing. Eduardo, <laughs> how are you today? I'm fine. You, teacher. Okay, very good. I'm really good. Okay. Good. Lisbeth, how are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, very really nice. Hey. Good evening, Eric. How are you? Hi, teacher. Excellent. Okay, very nice. Good job. Okay, students, really nice. Okay, we are about to start with today's class. And are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, very nice. Nelly, how are you today, Nelly? Excellent. Okay. And you? I'm really, really good. Thanks for asking. Okay, very good. Okay, here we go, students. We're gonna start with today's class. And today, let's see, we are going to continue with module two, right? Okay, cuando no me escuchen, me dicen ahí, teacher, can you speak aloud? Puede hablar más fuerte, and so on, right? Okay, very good. Uh, today's topics uh, that we're gonna see is what? Frequency adverbs. Okay, very nice, frequency adverb, very good. Okay, and the second topic that we're gonna have today is? When do you have a breakfast? For breakfast. Okay, okay, very nice, good. Okay, uh, the first topic, we're gonna see adverbio de frecuencia. Okay, que hacemos tan a menudo, que no hacemos, for example, never, always, and many others, right? Okay, let's get it. And in this case, as students, uh, we're gonna have this, these questions, right? What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? These are really, really important questions and you have to keep in mind. Esta es una pregunta muy importante que tienen que aprenderse. What do you have for breakfast? What does it mean? A ver, ¿qué significa? Eh, comes tú en el desayuno. Ok, very nice. Good. Aunque relativamente acá no tiene comer, pero vamos a hacer la compensation, right? ¿Qué comes de desayuno? Eh, ¿Qué te preparas ahí de desayuno? Very good. Nice. Breakfast, desayuno, eh, almuerzo. Lunch. Lunch. Very good. Eh, Dinner. 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 Yeah, really nice. Good job. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, question. Uh, dinner or diner? Dinner. 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 Okay. Dinner. Very good. Okay. <coughs> In this case, uh, you can change this word, right? What do you have for breakfast? Uh, what do you have for lunch? Very good. What about Elisena? What do you have for dinner? Very good. Thank you, Elizabeth. Nice. Okay, student, as you see, this is a, a really basic question that you have to keep in your mind. <coughs> and when you want to ask this question to a friend, to a partner, in order to practice, yes, you have to switch this word. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, right? Okay, very good. Okay, today we're going to talk about food, right, again. 
Espero que ya hayan cenado, porque si no, nos va a dar mucha ahí. Hungry. Hungry. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, students, before to start with today's class, we got a little feedback. And we have this. Okay, you have to tell to the class students if you like or dislike this food. Okay, let's see. Just tell, yes, teacher, I like it. No, teacher, I don't like it. Good evening, okay. everyone. Good evening, Saúl. Good evening. Okay, how are you, Saúl? Sánchez. Okay. Okay, that's good. <laughs> What's, what happened? <laughs> how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And you, teacher? Yeah, I'm really good. Okay, nice. Okay, students, uh, continue with this. What you gonna do here? Uh, va a aparecer una pequeña pictures. Okay. That's uh, uh, you know, a doggy, right? <laughs> yes, Ali. Yes, okay. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, good. Okay, students, uh, basically we're gonna have here uh, pictures. Vamos a ver una pictures. Ustedes me van diciendo, yeah, teacher, I like it. Or no, teacher. I don't like it, right? I love it. I hate it. Yep. Okay, ready? Ready. Oh. Ready. There we go. What about this one? <coughs> I like berenjena. Berenjenas. <laughs> I don't I don't like. I, I like, don't like. Sure. No. Okay. I like. I don't like berenjena. <laughs> Okay, okay, very good. I like so much. Rich. Yeah. So do I, Eduardo. I really like eggplant. 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 Okay, very good. Berenjenas, I don't know why, pero a todas las ladies que conozco me dicen, no, I don't like it. I hate it. <laughs> and Carla, <laughs> Nelly. <laughs> I think no, that I, I, don't, I don't like it. <laughs> it's powerful. Okay, next picture. What about this one? I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. But yo le quito la cebolla. Okay. But I like it. <laughs> yo le quito la cebolla. Like, like, <laughs> okay. Okay, I really like uh, Caesar salad, right? Caesar salad. Yes. Caesar salad. Caesar salad. Very good. Next uh, picture. Bacon. I like it. I don't like, like it. Like this. Like I don't this. Like this. Like this. Based on the so you like. Okay, okay, very good. Mm. Okay, so as you see, in these pictures, some of you, you have <laughs> others don't, right? That's normal. Okay, in my case, I am a vegetarian person, right? So that's why I don't like bacon. Any kind of meat, yeah. Okay, that's good. Here we go, students. Okay. We have to be objective, and we're gonna have two. The first one who wants to help me to read it, please. By the end of this class, we will learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural difference in food. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Eduardo. Really nice pronunciation of all of those words. Good. Thank you. Okay, now, Jami, it's your turn with the second one. Okay. By the end of the class, you will learn how to use adverbs yep. of, fre of frequency when yep. talking about food. Thank you. Really nice work. Okay, nice pronunciation, too. I like it. Okay, students, basically we're gonna talk about food again, right? But we're gonna see uh, different, you know, cultures about food in some countries. And also we're gonna learn frequency adverbs. Uh, okay, let's start with today's class. 
we are we are going to begin with these books words right we get a three okay the first one how do you say this one in english Three meals a day. Three meals a day. Thank you, Carla. Tres comidas al día. Eh, espero que solo hagamos tres al día. Algunas veces se nos pasa la mano ahí. <laughs> ok, pero uh, it has to be only three, right? In the okay. country, we're going to find only two times. Solo dos veces se come al día. But in this country, uh, we can do it three times. Yeah. Yep, three. And sometimes four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> five. <laughs> okay. I have five yeah. meals a day. How many, Carla? Porque como hago ejercicio, entonces la nutricionista me dice que haga cinco al día. Oh, really? That's good. Amazing. But, but I imagine that you, you eat uh, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's good. In that case, in that case yeah, it, um, you know, it's normal, right? Because you work out at the gym. Yeah. Nice. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to see three meals a day. It's three. The first one, it says? Breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. Breakfast. Lunch. 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 And the last Lunch. Dinner. 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 Here we go, students. Basically, uh, what we have here, breakfast is the most important. Lunch, you have to eat, you know, a little bit. But in most of our cases, we always have Okay, what about this one? How do you say this one? Pepinillos. <laughs> okay, yeah, in English? Pickles. Pickles. Yeah, very nice. Good job. Eduardo, really nice. Okay, the last one. Crackers. 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 Galletas. Galletas, oh. Galletas, ok, nada que ver con pulpo ni nada así, ¿no? <risa> El Kraken. <risa> Son galletas. <risa> ok, that's good. Nice, amazing student. Remember and keep in mind, we're going to have three meals a day. Carla is a lucky lady that eats five, right? Ok, that's good. Ok, continue with this. Uh, let me see. We're going to find this. What do you have for breakfast? breakfast? Okay, what we have here? We have uh, this culture. What is this? The U.S. Yes. The U.S. This one. Japan. 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 Okay, nice. This one. Mexico. 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 Okay. Okay, students, as you see, I'm going to talk about breakfast. Yeah, talk about breakfast. Let me see. Yeah, here we go. Okay, is that... Okay, that's good. Here we go. Let me see something. Okay. Okay, students, uh, we're going to talk about breakfast, right? What do you have for breakfast? Uh, this is the basic questions. You can change it. What do you have for lunch? What do you have for dinner? And so on, right? Okay, in the U.S., we have? Egg. Eggs. Very good. Egg. <laughs> Bacon. 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 Basically, uh, we're going to find here is a uh, simple breakfast, right? 
Porque este desayuno está súper completo. Tiene uh, jugo de naranja y café, right? It's a kind of weird, but it's nice. Yeah. Okay. Continue with Japan, right? What we have in Japan? Fish. 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 Rice. Rice. Right. So, pickles, green, green, tea. Tea. green tea. Very good, nice. What about Mexico? Eggs, Eggs. Eggs. beans, beans. Tortillas. tortillas, fresh fruits, fresh fruits. tortillas, fruit. tortillas. Right. tortillas, 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 <laughs> fresh fruits, fresh fruits. Fruit. 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 Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Okay, really good. Nice. Okay, students, basically, we got three different countries here United States, Japan, and Mexico. What's the difference? Uh, as you see, US and Mexico is almost the same. But Japan is really different. Okay, which of these three breakfasts do you like more? The US. Like the US. The US. <laughs> the US. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. The pain, it sounds confusing. I am. Mexico is similar to our culture, Mexico, yeah. because we can find here a sweet bread but with coffee right and then we put inside sweet bread and then chuponeado yeah yeah <laughs> chuponeado <laughs> okay that's an amazing <laughs> okay good. okay very nice students what we're gonna do here okay basic uh we have to ask what do you have for breakfast that's the question that you have to ask uh, for example in my case uh, Leida, can you ask me this question? Leida Hernández, are you there? Hola, hola. Sí, es que no escucho bien, perdón. Ah, bien, Se no corta problem. un poco. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, can you ask me these questions? What do you have for breakfast? Okay, very good. Okay, in my case, students. What I have is coffee and sweet bread, right? Like I said before, like this. Okay, like this. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna change the glass. This one. Yeah, like this, right? Okay, very good. Okay, nice. That's the question that you're gonna ask each other, students. Okay, let's okay. see. Mary. Mary, I'm sorry. Mary Murillo. Uh, can you ask this question to one of your partner? Elija que me caiga mejor y pregúntele esta question. Eh, like, what do you have for breakfast? Yeah. Okay. Ahorita. <laughs> <laughs> A Eduardo. Eduardo. Oh, Eduardo. Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. eh, Eduardo. What do you have for breakfast? I have a current choice yeah. with uh, eggs and bread. Very good. Nice. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now I want to choose. Now I want to choose. Jocelyn. 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 What do you have for breakfast? I said, I ate and the green, no coffee, the green, <laughs> and oras, or no, and the beans and cheese. It's very good. I really like it. Okay, Jocelyn, now is your turn. Ask one of your partner. Um, Nelly Avendano. Okay. Nelly. Okay. okay. Nelly, what do you have for breakfast? 
I have um, eggs, sometimes um, bacon, uh, toast, bread, and coffee. Thank you, Nelly and Jocelyn. Okay, Nelly, continue asking. And with? Okay. With Montalvo. Uh -huh. With Montalvo. Okay. Ask the question with a new door. With, what do you have for breakfast? I have coffee, essentially. <laughs> uh, I, tea, I have eggs, um, bread, beans, okay. sometimes tortillas. Really good, nice, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And banana, fried. <laughs> okay, very good. It's only. Okay, very good, good work. Really nice work, students. Okay, with Montambo, uh, choose one of your classmates and ask this question, please. Go ahead. Uh, Max Vasquez. Okay. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, Max, are you there? Max. I think Max is, you know, having lunch, having dinner. <laughs> yeah, have the dinner. Okay, very good. Okay, you, can, can you choose another one, please, with Yes, I can. And Nuria Garcia. Hey, Nuria. Nuria Garcia. Nuria. Nuria, are you there? Can you hear? She <laughs> has a microphone too. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, okay, today everybody have a problem with the microphone, I think. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, good. Choose, one, choose, choose a, another lady, please. Uh, Sara. Sara. I'm going to try with Sara. Hi. Yeah, very good. Sara, what do you have for breakfast? I have eggs, beans, bananas. And coffee with milk only. Okay, very good. Thank you, Sarah. Really good work. Okay, students. Can you hear me, class? Can yeah, you hear yeah. me, class? I'm here. Sure. To return. <laughs> Max, we got a question yeah. for you. Okay. Okay, what yeah. do you have for breakfast? Okay, most of the time I have for breakfast just coffee and sweet bread. Uh, Sunday I have for breakfast. Breakfast, uh, fried beans, uh, sweet bread, and bread, and some coffee. Okay, really Just good. That. That, that's it. Really nice. Okay, amazing work. Okay, students, basically, um, you learn already these questions. What do you have for breakfast? Remember and keep in mind that you can change this word, right? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Or dinner. Okay, very good. Continue with this. We have a short conversation about food, right? This fish look mm, a little strange, but you know, it's food. <laughs> okay. Okay, students, uh, who wants to practice these conversations? Volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, teacher, me, me, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, who said? Leida or Lisbeth? Um, my teacher. Okay, Lisbeth. Okay, Lisbeth, you will be Sara and Jocelyn, the lucky lady. You will be Kumiko, right? Two ladies. Okay. Two ladies, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lisbeth. Okay, uh, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish 
rice and salt. Fish for breakfast, that's interesting. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we have a salad, a salad too, and we always have green tea. Okay, uh, this uh, Lisbeth nos quería un problema con el microphone, así que yo no voy a terminar. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try things. Okay, really good. Okay, students, as you see here, all the time we uh, find this expression, let. 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 Let's. Okay. Let. What does it mean, let? Vamos. Vamos. Okay, 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 more or less, more or less. You got the idea. Si decimos let's go, es vamos. Hacemos. Hacemos. Tendemos. Tendemos. Este es un palio bit atípico. Now, we have this. Let's, let's, yeah, yeah, vamos. Okay, but in this case, student, let solo significa solito dejar. Dejar, right? Pero yeah. this apostrophe, right? This es. ¿Qué significa esto? Esta es una contracción. Let's us. Let's yeah. us. Right? Uh -huh. Let us. Pero como no podemos decir let us porque no se puede, nadie lo usa así, así que decimos let's. A contract. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa? Que cualquier verbo que continúe nos vamos a incluir todos los que estemos hablando. For example, let's study. Ok. Let's have some, let's have fun. Ok. Ok, ok, but, but, but in this case, uh, what does it mean, let's study right now? Let's study right now. Ok, ok, Ricky. What does it mean, let's go? Vamos. Vamos. Vamos, nos incluimos. Eh, let's study. Estudiamos. 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 Let's have. Breakfast. Tenemos. Tengamos. Tengamos un desayuno. Eh, qué bien. Ocupamos el desayuno. Que casi siempre se usa have por, para comer. Ok. Muy bien. Really good. Entonces, now you got the idea, right? For example, if you say, uh, let's invite. Let's invite a friend. What does it mean? Invitemos amigos. Invitemos, estudiemos, vamos. Entonces, vamos. siempre que tengamos let's más un verbo, nos incluimos. ¿Ya? Yeah. Yeah. Ok, really good. Ok, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Ok, very good. Then we're going to have this expression, right? Always. 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 Esta palabra. La reina. Siempre. Hombre, hombre. Ya, mira. Ok, let's okay, eh, okay, Esta palabra, chicos, veamos acá. Ok, that's funny, right? Ok, esta palabra podemos decirla de dos formas. Una es always y la otra es always. 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 Always or always. Very good. Ok, las dos son correctas. Okay. Nice. This one is good. Ok, this is uh, an expression. Really? 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 Ok. Really? Then we have you, this one. Usually. 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 Very good. Usually. Usually. And this one. Interesting. 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 Okay, this word it has only three syllables. In, 
Interesting. 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 Okay, very good. Interesting. Okay, nice. Okay, students, continue with this. Uh, then we have sometimes. 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 Never. 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 Okay. Always. Alguna vez. Una vez. Never. Nunca. 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 O jamás. O jamás. Never in the life. Never. Okay. Never ever. Never. Okay, students. I need a couple to practice this conversation again. Who wants to try it? Me, teacher. Me. Leila and Eduardo. Okay, uh, Leida, you will be Sara, and Eduardo, you will be. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, you're gonna start. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like it. I like to try new things. Okay. Okay, very good. Congratulations. You did a great job, students. Uh, right now, you uh, improve a lot in your pronunciation. That's amazing. So, I need a couple, one couple more, please, who want to practice this conversation. Don't be shy. Don't be shy, you can do it. Don't worry. You can do it. Very Let's very go, good. everybody. Practice. Somebody else. Can I teach? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Max. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Nelly, you will be Sarah, and Max, you will be this. Uh, this. <laughs> Kumiko. Yep. Okay, no problem. Excellent. Okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. <clears throat> really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, really nice, very good work, students. Okay, students, that's good, that's amazing. Uh, we practice this conversation. That's enough, we're gonna continue with this. I don't know if somebody have a question about one of these words. If you don't know what the meaning, or if you don't know the pronunciation of one of these words, you can tell me right now. That's okay. Okay, that's okay. No, teacher, that's okay. Okay, nice. Continue with this. Okay. Okay, students, now we're gonna talk about adverb of frequency, or in the other way around, frequency adverb, the same, right? Ok, let's see. <clears throat> Son adverbios de frecuencia. ¿Por qué de frecuencia? Because it has a percent, right? A percent of time that you do a normal activity. For example, ¿con qué frecuencia usted take a shower? Always. <laughs> Always, right? Ok, very good. Okay. Every day. Son Eduardo, son Eduardo. <laughs> <laughs> always, always, always some is, is like every day. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Always is like a siempre, right? Every day. Very good. Okay, nice. Okay, student, let's see. Uh, we have always, listen, 100%, yeah, right? Usually, usually, what does it mean usually? Generalmente, usualmente. Okay. Normalmente. Normalmente o generalmente. Yeah, okay. Generally, right? Okay, that's good. Often. Con frecuencia. A veces. A veces. Frequently, yeah, es frecuentemente, pero often. A menudo. Yeah, very good. Yeah. A menudo, recuérdense del pollito ahí cuando le llevamos unas sus piezas todas eh, divertidas. Las cuotas. Often. Okay, I mean, bring it. Uh, this one? A veces. Algunas veces, a veces. Ocasionalmente. Ocasionalmente. Seldom. I don't know. Raramente. Yeah, rara vez. Very good. Recuerden que este es seldom, no cheldom. Seldom. Seldom. Okay, good. Hardly ever. Casi nunca. Rara vez, realmente. Raramente. Okay, in never. Never. Nunca. Never. Never. I know. Okay. For example, uh, when I ask if somebody take a shower, only uh, <laughs> Eduardo said always. <laughs> Never, occasionally, seldom. Yeah. Hmm? Always. Okay, always. Very good. Okay, students. Uh, the pronunciation of these words is going to be this. Always. Usually, always, always, usually, 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 usually norm, normally, 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 generally, 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 generally often, 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 Okay, this is a little funny. Frequently. 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 Sometimes. 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 Occasionally. 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 Seldom. 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 <laughs> okay. ever. Okay. ever. Never. 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 Really good. Amazing students. As you see here, we get a percent of the frequency that this author has, right? Tenemos un porcentaje de la frecuencia con que estos adverbios funcionan. Por ejemplo, always es cuando pasa siempre. Siempre. Aquí uh, baja el nivel. Por ejemplo, eh, cuando estuvo ahí lloviendo demasiado. You know, when, that's a okay. How you know, usually, normally, generally, often. Es cuando llevamos una semana, sometimes. It's all right. Eh, ok. Eh, cuando hablamos de las berenjenas, de las eggplants, algunos sometimes comían eso, algo otros never, and so on, right? Ok, very good students. Eh, we got the frequency upper. And we got some examples. The examples are really important because we need to understand this. Okay. Hey, let me see. Bane Mendoza, can you help me to read the first one? Uh, uh, oh, the advert of frequency. Yeah, yeah, this one. Always. Sentence. Yep, the, the whole sentence, yes. Okay. Ah, sorry. I always brush my teeth and night at night. Okay, okay. 
Okay, I hope so, right? Okay, I always brush my teeth. Is it right or false? True or false? True, it's true. True, it's true. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's really right. Okay, okay, uh, the second one, let me see, Max. Okay, I usually walk to work. Okay, very good. Is it right, Max? True or false for you? Uh, uh, it's false. It falls. Uh, it's false. It's false because in this time I don't have work yet. Okay, 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 that's good. Nice. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, continue with this one. Number three, Saul Ardon. I normally get cool marks. Okay, very good. What does it mean, this one? Eh, normalmente una buena marca. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. This one, Jocelyn. I often read in bed at night. Okay, that's true or false? Um, false. <laughs> false. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, let me see, Carla. I sometimes sing in the shower. Okay, really nice. Really, I always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Carla. I hope so, right? Sing in the shower. That's amazing. It's happened to me sometimes, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, continue with this one. Uh, Leida, please. I occasionally go to bed late. Okay, that's true or false? False. Okay, false. That's good. You are a really good lady. That's amazing. Okay, good. Thank you, uh, Lisbeth. I tell them at five to my six. Okay, very nice. It's true or false? False. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, very nice. Let's see. Uh, yeah, tell me. Somebody have a question? Okay, very good. Okay, see. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, this one. I hardly ever get angry. Okay. It's true or false? True. Okay, that's good. Amazing, right? Okay, your boyfriend or husband, it's a lucky boy. Very good. Okay, and this one, the last one that we have, um, it's gonna be for, let me see, let me see, uh, with Montalvo, this one. The vegetarians never eat meat. Okay, very good. That's true or false? It's true. Yeah, it's true. In my case, I am a vegetarian and I never eat meat. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, okay, that's good. And that's true. <laughs> okay. Okay, student, let's see. As you see here, um, we got the formula how we can, you know, uh, make this. For example, we got a subject plus the adverb plus the main verb, right? Tenemos que tener un sujeto, un adverbio, que son estos de frecuencia, más un verbo principal. How come? Let's see. Daniel always passed his exams. Ok, parece que a Daniel no le gusta estudiar, porque dice que a Daniel... Oh, yeah. What does it mean? Daniel siempre siempre pasa los sus exámenes. ¿Le gusta estudiar o no le gusta estudiar? Yes. Sí, le gusta estudiar. Daniel, adverb always. Main verb, past. 
And so on, right? This um, this formula that we're gonna find here is a little bit complicated because we have to add the main verb in the past tense. Esto es un presente perfecto. Eh, no hemos llegado a eso ahorita, pero aquí en este caso se lo voy a explicar rápidamente. Dice, Susan has always lived in New York. Eh, este es un presente perfecto porque acá estamos hablando, eh, has ya no significa tener, sino que a ah, Susan siempre ha vivido en Nueva York. Ha vivido en Nueva York. Ha vivido en Nueva York. Entonces, cuando se que que está en pasado y tiene has, no significa tener, sino que a. Ah. For example, this one. Susan has always lived in New York. O si ustedes dicen, hey teacher, I, I has lived in San Salvador a few years ago. Yo he vivido en San Salvador hace mucho, hace algunos años. Yeah. One. Go on. Okay. Two. Okay, very good. Okay, students, questions about this? You have questions? Mm. Okay. No questions. Very good. Remember that all the time you can uh you can use the Happy is an adverb or an adjective. Okay, happy is an adjective. Yeah, it's an adjective. Entonces acá chicos también se puede utilizar para eso que ya lo vimos. Happy. Uh, what else? ¿Qué más vimos? Hungry. Okay. Really good. Um, Tired. Tired. Smart. Tall. Tired. Podemos mm. utilizar los adverbios de frecuencia también. Okay, questions about this? No question. No question. Okay, very good. Let's continue with this. Okay, students, you can find this on the platform, right? Uh, find this. Okay. Uh, we got the frequency adverb. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never, right? Okay. Okay, this is almost the same. Este es lo mismo que ya explicamos, así que lo vamos a soltar. Y we have these questions. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Para preguntar eh, una frecuencia en adverbios, esta pregunta es fundamental. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué significa? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Siempre comes cuando en el desayuno. Ok, ok, very good. Cada cuando comes pescado en el desayuno. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. En este caso es... Como... Estamos preguntando, preguntando una frecuencia. Entonces es como... Right, como lo dijo Will. Cada cuánto comes pescado en el desayuno. Ok. If it's positive, you're going to say, yes, I always do. I always do. Si le preguntan con do, tienen que responder con do. do. Very good. En este caso, yes, I always do. Si pasa intermedio, sometimes I do. Y este, no, I never do. Negative. Ok, students, eh, le voy a explicar algo muy importante. Siempre que alguien les pregunte, este... Lo mismo y ustedes quieran decir, ah, a mí también, a mí también. Decimos me too, right? Me too. Ya, yeah. yeah. pero van a escuchar eso. un plato para tapar esto. Ok, that's good. Pero van a escuchar, chicos, que uh, eh, las personas americanas dicen, yeah, so do I. So, so do I. Do I. Yeah. So do I. So do I. For example, teacher, how are you? And I say, I'm fine. Y Eduardo me dice, ah, yo también. So do I. So do I, right? 
is another way to say these same things. Es otra forma de decir lo mismo. Okay. Teacher, how do you spell so why? Ah, so do I. So is O, then do, and you finish with I. So do I. Okay. I'm gonna write on the chat, right? Okay, very good. So do I. Like this. So do I. So do okay, I. okay, teacher. Thank you. So do I. You're welcome. Okay, very good. Continue with this. Okay, we got another expression. Sometime I eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. I eat breakfast sometimes. Ustedes, eh, básicamente, si ustedes notan acá la posición, no importa. Eh, acá no a entender de esta forma. This way too. And with a way to say the same. Dicen lo mismo. Muy bien. Continue with this. Okay, we got it, this, students. Uh, this is a basic question that you have to learn. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Acá pueden cambiar fish por cualquier comida. Por ejemplo, yo le puedo decir, um, let me see, a Carla, do you ever um, have chicken? Let me see. Beef. Okay, Carla, do you ever have beef eggs for breakfast? Sorry, teacher, no lo escuché. Okay, do you ever have uh, spaghetti for breakfast? No, I never. Okay, okay, very good, thank you. Okay, like this, right? Do you ever? You can answer, yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. Oh, no, I never do, right? Oh, I never. It's the same. Okay, students. Now, okay, we have time. Okay, we have this activity, right? Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, we got these two questions. Let me see. For example, you can change this, as I said before. Do you ever have eggs for breakfast? We change eggs. Por cualquiera de estas comidas, right? For example, it could be bacon tossed with butter o cualquier otra. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer acá? Tomen notas porque se van a preguntar estas questions. Okay. You have to change this. Pueden cambiar esta. Solo cambian X y lo demás queda similar. Do you ever have eggs for breakfast? En mi caso, podría ser, yeah, I always do. Podría ser mi respuesta. Ok. The second question that you're going to practice is this one. Do, uh, what do you have for breakfast? It's in general, right? What do you have for breakfast? Ok. Pueden cambiarlo también por lunch o dinner. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Ok. The possible answer could be my breakfast is always a sandwich and coffee. In my case, right? Si alguien me hace esta pregunta. Okay. Espero que las hayan anotado. You take notes already? These two questions? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. very good. Okay. Yes, teacher. Now, students, it's time to put into practice this previous knowledge. We're going to make groups and go ahead. Practice these two questions, right? Okay, good luck, don't be shy, and practice each other, very good, go ahead.
and the coffee. Okay. What do you have your uh, for lunch? For my lunch, I have meat and the orange juice okay. and sometimes salad. Okay. Tea green or milk and coffee and bear only. Okay. Ahora ya le pregunta a usted. Vaya, okay. Um, a lot. What do you have for breakfast, Eduardo? Um, I have a tortilla. Excellent. Uh, iced tea. Iced tea. Wow. Rice. Okay. Uh, beef. Beef. Or chicken. Cheese or cream. Okay. And what do you have for dinner? Uh, I have a. I'm going to tell teacher. I can pronounce. I have a teacher. And the second question. Yeah. Uh, say, what do you have? That word excised. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. What do you have without R? It's a mistake. Yeah, yeah. It's a mistake. Thank you. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, ladies. <laughs> What do you have for breakfast? Yeah, we're okay. Thanks. Continue practice, right? Okay. My breakfast is always a toast with avocado and coffee with milk. Um, my breakfast is toast, bean, meal. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, in your what do you what do you ever uh, what do you ever uh, propose us for dinner? I always <laughs> always always uh, all night propose us. Mm -hmm. Always at night or sometimes at breakfast too. What do you do you have for breakfast? I usually my breakfast usually is a uh, fruit and coffee um, eggs or 